Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to also share, like, and comment. All the honorable members, order. Can we give chance to the honorable member to render the apology? The honorable member for Lumezi, please, you can go ahead. Madam Speaker, out of respect for your office, Madam Speaker, when I was on suspension, Order. Honorable members, I wish to inform the House that on Wednesday, 11th October 2023, my office received a letter of complaint from Mr. Munia Zulu, Member of Parliament for Lumezi Constituency, against Honorable M. M. Posha, MP, Minister of Water Development and Sanitation, for allegedly struggling, strangling him. In his complaint, Mr. Munia Zulu MP alleged that Mr. Sorry, he alleged that Honorable M. M. Posha MP strangled him in the National Assembly car park for raising a question to him on the floor of the House on Wednesday, 11th October 2023. He stated that the incident occurred in the presence of Honorable D. M. Siakalima MP, Minister of Education, Mr. T. E. Mutinta, Member of Parliament for Itestesi Constituency, Mr. N. Chilangwa, Member of Parliament for Kawambwa Constituency, and unnamed support staff. Mr. Munia Zulu MP added that the incident not, on, not occurred in the National Assembly car park. He would have been forced to defend himself using his licensed firearm and their life would have been lost. Subsequently, on Thursday, 12th October 2023, my office received a letter of complaint from Mr. M. M. Posha MP against Mr. Munia Zulu MP for his alleged unethical behavior on the Parliament precincts on Wednesday, 11th October 2023. Honorable M. M. Posha MP, alleged that on Wednesday, 11th October 2023, Mr. Munia Zuru MP raised the point of order where he targeted his personal business and claimed that people were queuing for water at his property. In addition, Honorable M. M. Posha MP alleged that when he went to the National Assembly Bar, an altercation ensured where Mr. Munia Zulu MP insulted him, took off his necktie, and challenged him to a fight. He stated that the incident was witnessed by two members of staff and some members of parliament, namely Mr. T. E. Mutinta MP, Mr. N. Chilangwa MP, Mr. S. C. Chanda, member of parliament for Kanchivia constituency, and Mr. P. Twasa, Member of Parliament for Kasenengwa Constituents. Further, Honorable M. M. Posha MP accused Mr. Munia Zuru MP of returning to the chamber in a drunken state, making threats of shooting someone and pointing fingers at him. Furthermore, Honorable M. M. Posha MP asserted that Mr. Munia Zuru MP falsely accused him of strangling him and the repeated threats of shooting someone in a complaint lodged with the office of the Honorable Madam Speaker on Wednesday, 11th October, 2023. In line with parliamentary practice and procedure, and in accordance with the rules of natural justice, on Wednesday, 8th November, 2023, the Office of the Clerk wrote to Honorable M. M. Posha MP and Mr. Munia Zulu MP to state their side of the story regarding the respective complaints. Mr. Munia Zulu MP was also asked to provide particulars of the support staff who allegedly witnessed the incident in the National Assembly car park. Additionally, on Thursday, 9th November 2023, 
Letters were written to all the members of parliament who allegedly witnessed the incidents referred to in both complaints, namely Honorable D. M. Siakarima, MP, Mr. T. E. Mutinta, MP, and Mr. N. Chilangwa, MP, Mr. P. Twasa, MP, and Mr. S. C. Chanda, MP, to state what they witnessed. Further on the same day, the office of the clerk wrote letters to Ms. Jean Sipatunyana, Mr. Isa Omwenda, Mr. Hebed Himoya, members of staff who were on duty at the National Assembly Bar to state what they witnessed on the material date. The witnesses' responses are summarized below. The first one, Honorable M. E. Mposha, MP. Honorable M. E. Mposha, MP, denied strangling Mr. Munia Zuru, MP, or being present in the National Assembly car park at the material time. He also denied engaging in physical outers, sorry, outer session with Mr. Munia Zuru, MP, either within or outside the precincts of the National Assembly. He reiterated that Mr. Munia Zuru MP was the aggressor both in the House and at the bar, and concluded his letter by listing the names of witnesses who could corroborate his story. Mr. Hebed Himoya, National Assembly Barman. Mr. H. Himoya stated that on Wednesday, 11th October 2023, at about 16.40 hours, he attended to Honorable M. E. Mposha, MP, who was clearing his bill at the National Assembly Bar. He added that he did not witness any confrontation between the two members in question. The third one, Ms. Jean Spatunyana, National Assembly Bar Lady. Ms. Jane Spatunyana stated that she did not witness the incident between Honorable M. E. Mposha, MP, and Mr. Munia Zuru, MP. She added that on the material day, she was working from the kitchen. However, when she went to the bar counter, she saw Mr. Munia Zuru, MP, leaving the bar area, but did not see Mr. Sorry, did not see Honorable M. E. Mposha, MP, at all, at all on the material day. Mr. Isa Omwenda, National Assembly Barman. Mr. E. Mwenda stated that on the material day, Honorable M. E. Mposha, MP, went to the bar to clear his outstanding bill. In that regard, he added that he called Mr. H. Moya to attend to Honorable M. E. Mposha, MP, while he left the bar and proceeded to the kitchen to collect the snacks for the orders already made for the guests. Mr. T. E. Mutinta, MP. Mr. T. E. Mutinta averred that he witnessed the conversation between Honorable M. E. Mposha, MP, and Mr. Munia Zuru, MP, at the National Assembly Bar and not in the car park, as alleged by Mr. Munia Zuru, MP. He stated that during the conversation, he witnessed Mr. Munia Zuru, MP, charge at Honorable M. E. Mposha, MP, and uttered strong words to him. He concluded his letter by denying ever witnessing Mr. Munia Zuru, MP, being strangled by Mr. by Honorable M. E. Mposha, MP. Mr. N. Chilangwa, MP. Mr. N. Chilangwa, MP, stated that he was at the National Assembly Bar area on the material day and that he witnessed the two members joking with each other. He, however, did not witness the alleged incident in the National Assembly car park. The other witnesses, namely Honorable D. Siakarima, MP, Mr. P. Twasa, MP, Mr. S. C. Chanda, MP, did not respond to their letters despite several reminders. Similarly, what's up? My name is Ken Dumbo, the MC with the source. Don't forget to subscribe to JQ. Mr. Munia Zuru MP 
did not respond to the letter written to him, neither did he avail the particulars of the members of staff who allegedly witnessed his strangulation. Honorable members, the two complaints raise the issue of misconduct by a member that constitutes a breach of privilege and contempt of the House. Honorable members, the National Assembly Powers and Privilege Act, Chapter 12 of the Laws of Zambia, provides for contempt. In that regard, Section 19C provides as follows. 19, any person shall be guilty of an offense who, number C, causes an obstruction or disturbance within the precincts of the assembly. Additionally, standing order number 207 of the National Assembly of Zambia Standing Orders for 2021 provides as follows. 2071, contempt of the House refers to an act, omission, or conduct which obstructs, impedes, either the House or members or officer in the discharge of their duties. Number two, in addition to instances under Section 19 of the National Assembly Powers and Privileges Act, the following may constitute contempt of the House. Molestation of members on account of their debate or conduct in the House or a committee. Further, Standing Order 203 provides for the conduct of members within the precincts of the Assembly as follows. 203. One, a member shall at all times conduct himself or herself in a manner that upholds the dignity, integrity, and decorum of the House. A member shall not act in a manner that brings the House or other members generally into disrepute. Lastly, standing orders number 205E provides that a member commits an act of gross disorderly conduct if such member uses violence against another member or other person in the House or committee or within the precincts of the assembly. Honorable members, it is clear from the authorities cited above that an ethical behavior, violence, and molestation of other members by a member is a breach of parliamentary privilege and contempt of the House. Consequently, both matters were referred to the Committee on Privileges and Absences for determination. The Committee on Privileges and Absences met to consider and determine the matters on Thursday, 14th March, 2024. Honorable M.E. Posha MP, Mr. S.C. Chanda MP, Ms. Jane Sipatonyana, Mr. Isa Omwenda, and Mr. Herbert Himoya appeared before the committee. Mr. Munia Zulu MP and other members named as witnesses did not attend the hearing despite being served with the notice of hearing through their official parliament email address. Honorable members, the committee considered whether procedurally it could proceed to determine the matter based on the written submissions of Mr. Munia Zuru MP and other witnesses who were absent. After extensive deliberations, the committee noted that by not responding to the clerk's letter and attending the hearing, Mr. Munia Zuru MP neglected to prosecute his complaint and to defend himself against the complaint by Honorable M. Imposha MP. For this reason, the committee resolved to proceed to determine the matter based on the evidence on record and oral submissions of witnesses who appeared before it. Honorable M. E. Posha MP. Honorable M. E. Posha MP relied on his written complaint and his letter of response to the, to the complaint filed by Mr. Munia Zuru MP. He added that the basis of his complaint was firstly the misconduct exhibited by Mr. Munia Zuru MP at the National Assembly bar counter, that is, taking off his necktie 
and charging at him. Secondly, he averred that he was abused and slandered by the letter of complaint lodged by Mr. Munia Zuru MP. He further explained that this was because the said letter falsely accused him of violence and it was widely circulated on both social and print media platforms. When asked to clarify what he meant by the word abused, he indicated that Mr. Munia Zuru MP called him a poor and stupid minister in full view of other members and members of staff, which was demeaning. Mr. S.C. Chanda MP, <clears throat> Mr. S.C. Chanda MP informed the committee that he did not file his written submission as he was in the constituency at the time. He therefore opted to make oral submissions. In his oral submissions, he averred that on the material day, he was at the National Assembly Bar, where he witnessed Honorable M. Imposha MP tap Mr. Munia Zuru MP on his shoulders in a friendly manner. He explained that Mr. Munia Zuru MP overreacted, which led to a bitter exchange of words between the parties. Mr. Munia Zuru MP stood up, loosened his necktie, but Honorable M. Imposha MP remained calm and eventually left to the bar. Mr. S. Chanda MP stated that the only incident he, wish, he witnessed between the two members was at the bar and not the car park. He indicated that although he did not recall the exact words used by Mr. Munia Zuru MP or Mr. Honorable M. Imposha MP, they were indeed provoking in nature. Ms. Jean Spatonyana, Mr. Isa Omwenda, and Mr. Hebert Imoya opted to rely on their written submissions as evidence before the committee. Honorable members, in considering the matter, the committee took into account both the oral and written submissions of the parties and the witnesses. From the evidence adduced, the committee observed that the two members only had an encounter at the National Assembly Bar and not the car park as alleged by Mr. Munia Zulu MP. Therefore, it found that the complainant, the complaint by Mr. Munia Zulu MP against Honorable M. E. Mposha MP had no evidence. On the other hand, the committee found the complaint by Honorable M. E. Mposha MP against Mr. Munia Zuru MP was proven, and therefore Mr. Munia Zuru MP's action amounted to misconduct and the contempt of the House. In deliberating on the appropriate punishment to met out to Mr. Munia Zuru MP, the committee took into consideration the following. One, Mr. Munia Zuru MP, knowingly misled the office of the Honorable Madam Speaker by lodging a false complaint, and two, that the act of misleading the Honorable Madam Speaker and his conduct on 11th October 2023 on the floor of the House and that the National Assembly Bar was unethical and unbefitting a member. Honorable members, after due consideration of the above facts, the committee resolved to recommend as follows. One, that the, com the complaint by Mr. Munia Zuru MP against Honorable M. M. Posha MP be dismissed. And two, that Mr. Munia Zuru MP be reprimanded in accordance with Section 28.1c and 28A2 of the National Assembly Powers and Privileges Act for his... What's up? My name is Ken Dumbo, the MC with the source. Don't forget to subscribe to Jacob. ...against Honorable M. E. Mposha, MP. Honorable members, I endorse the committee's recommendations and accordingly dismiss the complaint lodged by Mr. Munia Zuru, MP. Further, pensoir to Section 28.1c and 28a.2 of the National Assembly Powers and Privileges Act, I will now proceed to reprimand Mr. Munia Zulu MP. 
Mr. Munia Zulu MP, your conduct of threatening violence towards Honorable M. M. Posha MP was unethical and unbefitting of a member. Further, instead of being apologetic about your misconduct, you opted to mislead my office by lodging a false complaint against Honorable M. M. Posha MP, which was slanderous not only to him, but to the House as a whole. The House is therefore extremely displeased with your conduct. I wish to reiterate that I will not tolerate gross indiscipline and misconduct from you or in need any member of this House. The honor, decorum, and dignity of the House must be protected and preserved at all times. I do trust that you reflect seriously on your conduct and in the future desist from conduct and befitting a member of this August House. I now order you, Mr. Munia Zuru MP, to read your apology and thereafter resume your seat. I thank you. <laughs> Order, honorable members. Order. Can we give chance to the honorable member to render the apology? The honorable member for Lumezi, please, you can go ahead. Madam Speaker, out of respect for your office, Madam Speaker, when I was on suspension as a complainant, I had no chance to write any responses to parliamentary letters because I couldn't access the building. But let me read the, the letter. Yes. Madam Speaker, I, Munir Zulu, member of parliament for Lumezi constituency, in my personal capacity, do hereby unreservedly apologize to this august house and to you, Madam Speaker, for threatening violence towards Honorable M. <laughs> <laughs> order, honorable members, order. You are disturbing the honorable member on the floor. <laughs> you may continue, honorable member, for Lumez. When is the 11th of October 2023? And for knowing <laughs> misleading the honorable madam speaker by lodging a false complaint a false complaint <laughs> against Honorable M. M. Posha MP, which was slanderous not only to him but to, to the House as a whole. Full stop. <laughs> Madam, having seriously reflected on my conduct. <laughs> Madam, having seriously <laughs> reflected on my conduct, yeah, 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 yeah. which was unethical yeah, yeah. and amounts yeah. to misconduct yeah. and the contempt of the house, yeah. <laughs> I wish yeah. to sincerely apologize to this yeah, 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 yeah. house. I wish to assure you, madam, and this august house, that from now on, yeah. 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 I shall yeah. endeavor yeah. to preserve and protect uh, the honor, decorum, <laughs> and dignity of the house at all times. And you were born again. Madam Speaker, I thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well done. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
J Cool and turn on the notification bell cause I'm gonna see you in the next video.